Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Yamanaka's Poison here, just me, myself and I, back again for another video, and today it's about uh, competitive battles between me and Kala Mubs. So Kala and I decided to do a first to five, um, it didn't really go very well because the connection between us is ass, like it kept lagging, which is weird because I think when we're fighting other people we're fine, like I know I'm fine when I'm fighting other people, but it kept, like the frames just kept sticking and it was just really fucking laggy, and it wasn't really good to play in. But I decided to make uh, some content because, you know, it's really hard to me to, for me to squeeze out content because my internet is worse than what it is before. So uploading videos is harder. And um, obviously with the schedule of me working and in college and stuff and whatnot, it's hard and I, I get frustrated easily now. It's, it's difficult. But anyways, on a brighter note, I'm going to try and make a video on um, a loss I got from one of our first to five uh, fights. Yeah, he recorded all of the first of five, I think, and he's gonna be it's gonna be on his channel. Uh, so a link to his channel will be in the description if you're not subscribed to him or if you're not on his channel ever. So I suggest go checking that out. Uh, yeah, just bear in mind that it does lag a lot between us. You know, there were a couple of times where I did win more, but we didn't count those ones because it was so laggy between us. And you're gonna see that he won a lot because of lag, and there's a lot of lag, but. This is one of the losses that I'm actually quite happy with because it didn't lag as much. You're still going to see a lot of lag in it. Yeah, it's it's a little less laggy. And you're going to look at this and think, this was less laggy? Shit. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the fights were laggy. Um, You're going to see in the full first of five anyway that Kyla uploads. But anyway, yeah, what I'm going to do is going to basically just give you a running commentary over how the fight went, uh, why it ended the way it did, and during it, I'm just going to say, like, live, like, uh, the mistakes I made, what I should have done, what he could have done better, what I could have done better, and why the fight ended the way it did. Hopefully it should turn out alright, and, um, yeah, let's get started with the with the running commentary on our uh, on one of our fights. Alright, guys, so here we're going to do a running commentary on... The fight here, so as you can see, we're both playing a little defensive. I decided to go for an attack. Uh, we, we decided to play metal, we didn't decide to actually play um, like uh, limited or anything. Uh, so it's kind of like a meta style. As you can see, the frames are sort of sticking because it's the lag that I was talking about earlier. But uh, I made a mistake of wasting all my subs. I guess when it's lagging, I get really frustrated. And uh, this is where I begin to waste subs. So he takes his opportunity to get some combos off of me. He, for some reason, leaves it off there at Chiju's combo. I guess he didn't realize I wasn't going to sub because I wasn't. But yeah, but he's got the pretty uh, the decent advantage here. I decided to upload this fight because uh, this fight is much better looking than the other one. I decided to record both my losses. But uh, the other one was just too laggy and disgusting to look at. Like, you guys would have been bored watching that. <laughs> so, um, anyways... Um, yeah, he's just getting me a counter here, not doing too well. See, what I should be doing is I should be concentrating right now on getting my chakra, rather than just trying to go for the attack, because now I waste my sub again on that Choji. Um, and yeah, he's just out trumped me there by not subbing, and I wanted him to, but obviously he didn't play the way I wanted him to. So that's very clever on his part. And a lot of shit like that happens. You know, like, I just sort of misjudge like, the way he should be playing, or with the way I want him to be playing. Um, so yeah, now I'm you know trying to get my chakra back. I'm just trying to attack from a distance with uh, support chakra dashing and that, you know, all that good stuff. Just throw some kunai like that. Yeah, just trying to get any bit of damage I can from the long range, and then I go back in once I got my subs and chakra back, and then I'm gonna try and make a difference. Um, I do happen to make a bit of a difference if I remember rightly. Just trying to watch this. I can't remember the fight too well, even though it happened not too long ago. But yeah, I tried the third attempt with the support combo there. I guess it's the laggy frames. Like when you do, when there's laggy frames, you cannot do support uh, techniques so easily. But I just managed to land the counter there, so then I do the switch paper bomb counter again. Not counter, but the switch paper bomb uh, infinite item technique. So that helps me get a bit of damage off, and uh, we're both one to one on subs. He's still got the health lead. Uh, he maintains the health lead for quite a long time, but now I, I turn the tables because my subs are come back. But now I think his subs start to come back. Yep, it does. And I just managed to get all that damage off, so I've sort of leveled out, uh, you know, in terms of where we're at. He tries to awaken, but I'm not going to allow him to do that, so I jump towards him and just pressure him just to let him know that I'm not going to let him awaken. Um, I do have the chakra disadvantage. Now, I did try subbing. I remember I mashed subs right there. Right fucking there, I mashed the subs. But the laggy frames was like, nope, no sub registered, um, you're gonna get hit by this. So, yeah, because I know what Kala's like, I've been playing with him since Rev, I know he does that. He always fucking uh, guard break ultimates, and if he's got the guard break ultimate, that's a straight, you know. As soon as he gets that guard break, I mean, he gets a straight ultimate after that. 
and uh, yeah, that sucks ass. <laughs> I do the same thing when playing meta. You know, that's just the whole point of meta. You use anything to your uh, your disposal. Um, yeah, so I'm at a major disadvantage here once again. But I, I swear to God, my reactions was perfect, and I did try to sub that um, that guard break because I just know that's what Kala likes to do. I, I know Kala. <laughs> but anyway, I got the switch here, and this is where I actually make a comeback. Um, for some reason, uh, he kind of he kind of messed this up. He uh, he countered back to back like that, and then I get the guard break into combo neutral. I mainly went in with like what two percent health there. So I'm not really too proud of that, really. Um, um, like, uh, that's what I'm saying. The fight could have gone better if there was less laggy frames. You know, if it wasn't lagging, I would have subbed that guard break back there. But anyways, um, I got get, I got a bit greedy and a bit um, out of character, I'd say, for myself. Started wasting my sub. See, that was an unnecessary sub waste right there. I could have at least took one hit from that combo. Uh, nope, subbed it again. I am just not concentrating. See, I could have guarded there. Nope, just giving myself away. No subs. Getting a little bit of chip damage. And then I decided to attack him like the fucking idiot I am. See, if I was actually, you know, in my element, what I would have done is I would have backdash. I would have um, done support uh, chakra dashes to keep him at bay, and then I keep jumping back just to get away from him. But that just wasn't working for me whatsoever. Okay, so we're in the third round. Um, we're about equal right now. You know, he, he's managed to level it out. Uh, I got like that two percent lead, but he, he's gonna bring it back. Um, you can sort of just tell as you. Um, this isn't really a spoiler because I don't says in title, this is based on my loss. But um, basically just saying, you know, what I've done wrong and what I should have been doing. Okay, so that was good. That support chakra dash to get rid of that um, that jutsu was good. Because I didn't want that jutsu following me and then him having to pressure me with that jutsu. But then that Naruto support is annoying. Uh, I fought Pleiko many times and he does that, the, the Shino and the Naruto combo together with whatever support. It always works really well. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Kala's using it, you know, quite decently here. And as you can see, more laggy frames. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to blame that lag too much for my loss, because you know, like I said, this fight was one of the, the decent fights. Um, so I did lose due to my own mistakes as well. So I managed to get some nice bit of damage here. Now what I should be doing is getting my tracker, and that's what I am doing right here. But I got a bit impatient. I decided to chase after him anyway because his um, subs are low, and I'm uh, luckily somehow I managed to waste his lap sub. But he's very good at. Um, at, cl at closing off those negative frames with the, with the defense pill and then countering straight after. So that's what he did, he got the counter and now he's turning it back around because I'm too impatient. <laughs> so, um, okay, I just managed to land the almighty push which is really good. I have all my fucking tracker back, I need to play careful because he's got 4 subs to my no subs. Uh, and that's that's the issue here. And now he goes in with the choji, but because he's juggling me he can't get the full combo and I guard that shit. But he out trumped me on the counter. He's seen that I was going to counter and he decided to toy around with that a little bit. Um, I got to give him props for that. That was very good. And um, yeah, now I'm just playing Kunai's. Not trying to be too aggressive with him, but he's decided to change the tempo. Uh, that's a good thing that me and him have always uh, been doing in our fights is that we change the tempo of our fight, uh, of our fighting style. So, like, one minute I'll play defensive and he'll play defensive, and then, uh, you know, out nowhere would be aggressive. Like, he'll start using Shino's, like, Taijutsu. And it does throw you off guard, and that's a good thing, like, you know, for a pro player like him to do. You'll notice that all of us pro players will do that. We won't stick to the whole same style the whole fight. Okay, so now I need to run away. Like this is this is what I need to do, and I do it correctly. I did the uh, the infinite item there. Uh, so it's actually a good tactic when running away, because they don't expect it. So that's some nice fire damage there, but we didn't have elemental damage on. But you know, it would have been nice. <laughs> but yeah, just using Madara's range to sort of keep him at bay is just make sure that he isn't doing any uh, any type of harm to me. Luckily, he doesn't have cover fire, so I don't have to worry about that the whole fight. Because if we had cover fire, then I'd probably be dead already. <laughs> but as you can see, I do make a bit of a comeback here. But uh, you're going to see where I mess up. Just being aggressive, really. I need to guard more. I'm not guarding enough. Um, but like I said, playing under laggy situations, you do sort of get fucked up like that. And that's where I messed up. Just the wasting of the subs and everything like that, it really does fuck you up. And that was pretty much how I managed to mess up that whole fight. Was the, the, the lag spikes in certain areas and me just getting annoyed and playing the way I shouldn't be playing. Uh, there were so many points during that I should have just stayed on the defensive, focused on getting chakra and subs back, but I just didn't do that. I just kept dashing in. I was basically just too focused on de depleting his health. <laughs> naturally, I am an aggressive player. Um, naturally. 
but um, with a team like that, you know, and a Shino he was using with that Choji and Naruto, you do you cannot be aggressive against a team like that because you will get out trumped, uh, and that's something you need to take uh, very carefully. Uh, you'll see that in the fighters that he uploads, I do beat that team, and you'll see that I play the complete opposite way to how I was playing in this game, which is why I lost in this one, and why I won in the other one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you did enjoy the fight. I hope you did enjoy the running commentary. You can sort of see how meta fights work. Um, this one is a little bit different than other meta fights because, you know, the whole just the lag situation. But I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it's been your boy, Hamrax Poison. Janet.